TV. Hey guys, welcome back to Balcony TV Sydney. My name is Matt Field and today we are here with Lisa Heller. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, hey, I'm really well man. Thanks for coming up on the balcony. Thank you for having me. <laughs> no worries. Hey, what song are you going to sing for us today? I'm going to sing Hope. Hope. Yes. Okay, I've heard a lot about this one. <laughs> this is Lisa Heller with Hope. break of dawn the city lights were blinking but everyone was gone nothing to live or die for but we still risk it all and bet it on the future Without a crystal ball Hope, hope for the best Hope for the rest of our life To the day that we die No, never confess Bury regrets in the sand While we reach for the sky Not something you can pay for Not something you can buy It's only in the moments That make you feel alive Hope, hope for the best Hope for the rest of our lives To the day no, never confess Bury regrets in the sand While we reach for the sky I'll never see the ending until it's my too late The read about our history And celebrate the day Hope, hope for the best Hope for the rest of our life To the day that we die No, never confess Bury regrets in the sand while we reach for the sky. Hope, hope for the best, hope for the rest of our life to the day that we die. No, never confess. Bury That was Lisa with Hope. Thanks for coming on and singing your song for us. Thanks, dude. This is Jaden over here on guitar. Um, wow, I really liked it. I want to find out a little bit more about that song. But maybe before we start talking about it, tell us a little bit about your musical journey and how you even came to be a singer in the first place, because that's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, so it's actually a long story. Um, I was a runner in high school. My whole family was really into running and sports and stuff like that. And um, I did cross country and track. 
and around my sophomore year of high school, which is second year, um, I developed this breathing problem called VCD, mm -hmm. where during a race, my throat started closing up and all I remember is I was running and then I was over the finish line, collapsed on the ground. And um, this was really hard for me because I really wanted to be a runner. And um, like doctors told me I wouldn't be able to run anymore. And I finally found a specialist that said that one thing that could help would be singing <laughs> randomly. Really? And okay. I always, yeah, so I always love singing, um, but it's kind of like a weird way that it came that I decided to like focus on singing. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> so it was like a condition that's led you to sing like the way. Yeah. That's fascinating. Do you know, like about six months ago, I fell off my snow skis and I injured my knee, oh, right? Really? Yeah, and nothing good has come of that. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Like you, so you have this condition, but now you're an amazing singer. I oh, stacked it. I hurt my knee. All I got is a bung knee from it. So it'll get good things are happening for you, you know? <laughs> anyway, look, let's move on. Uh, the song Hope itself, I mean, a pretty powerful message in there. Can you tell us, um, yeah, tell us a little bit about how that song came about and what that song means to you to be able to perform that? Yeah, well, um, I always wanted to write a song. Like my goal whenever I write songs is to be able to inspire people. Um, mm -hmm. And so this song in particular, I really found has been able to inspire people. Um, but when I was writing it, the first line that we came up with was the main line, hope, hope for the best. And I think that that can relate to anyone because no matter what stage in life you are, no matter where you're from, everyone needs hope. Um, and so we kind of built the song around that. So and you're saying that there is a chance for my knee yeah, to one day of course. get me back onto the track as yeah. well, right? Okay, okay, <laughs> good. There you go. It's not all over for me. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cool. And um, and I did read that that it's it's trended on on YouTube or trended online. It's like over a million hits or something like that. That must be pretty amazing, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm still shocked. Like it's been like a month and a half, and I'm still like so shocked. Um, and we're up to like is, how many is it? One one million, one point five million, something um, like this. It's really close to one point six million now. One point so. six million views. Wow, that's amazing. If you haven't seen it, jump on to, is it, is it, can you see it through your website, I imagine? Yeah, just LisaHeller.com. Jump yeah. on to LisaHeller.com. We'll get more to your social media links in just a moment, but that video is well worth watching. You can be 1 million, 1 point, take it to 1.7 million for us. Um, so that's kind of cool. I want to know a little bit more as well about Hope Wall. Like, what's that concept? Because that also sounded pretty awesome. Yeah, so um, once I finished writing the song, I decided to show it to a couple of family friends and stuff like that. And um, one person that I met with, um, her son, who's so adorable, he's four years old, he, um, he has Down syndrome, mm -hmm. and um, his name is Nicholas Higgum. And he listened to the song and he became so inspired by it and same with his mother. And um, that's when I realized that the song could be bigger than just music itself. Um, and so I decided to like start reaching out to a couple people um, before the song was released to like have them listen and share their stories of like um, how it inspired them. Um, and then it kind of built on its, like once I released it, all these people started reaching out to me wanting me to share their stories. Um, I tried to meet with as many people as possible going through difficult times, um, people like kids with terminal illnesses, but obviously I wouldn't be able to meet with everyone. So I kind of built this hope wall mm -hmm. where um, it's online and people shared their stories with me and I'd share them with my fan base. And um, it's been really cool because everyone going through these different challenges have been supporting each other so yeah whoa oh well, thanks <laughs> thanks for doing it man it's so nice to see people that are really trying to make a difference with their music you know you obviously have a gift and to actually be singing for the people i that's that's cool man so on behalf of everyone thank you for doing what you do <laughs> um Jaden, we haven't got to you man how are you Oh, I'm, I'm hot now, yeah. but I'm good. I'm yeah, good. you are hot, man. <laughs> hey, great playing, dude. Thank you very much. No, thank you, man. Thanks thank for you. coming on Balcony TV and playing. So, you you sound Australian. I am very Aussie, yeah. Yeah. And you don't? No. <laughs> no. So, how do you, why don't you tell us, how did you guys come to be playing here together? Uh, yeah, so I'm a musician myself and been playing um, since I was about 12, 13 years old. So, um, you know, I've acquired some, some friends in the music industry and things like that. So, I actually got to know... Um, Lisa through a mate of mine, Lenny, who was in the band Justice Crew, okay. who are a big Aussie sensation. So mm -hmm. yeah, we got to know each other like that, and we 
we uh, we met up and we had a jam and yeah, I really liked her music. It was really cool. cool. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you also for coming on Balcony yeah. TV, playing Hope. Um, look, where can these guys, if they want to watch more of your music, where can they? Where's the best place? I mean, we touched on your website before, <laughs> but do you have social media links, anything like this? Yeah. So all my social media is Lisa Heller Music. So okay. um, my website's lisaheller.com, but Facebook. It's Facebook.com slash Lisa Heller Music, same with Instagram, Twitter. Okay. Like that. And that line, <laughs> that lastly, uh, that line in the song, um, something about your old man saying that um, <laughs> nothing good is ever free. Yeah. Has he been here? Like, look at this place, man. It's like a beautiful <laughs> sunny day. Got a view. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you show him. You show your old man. <laughs> okay, look, we'll, we'll wrap it up there. But thanks, guys, for watching Balcony TV. Make sure you jump on Lisa's website and check out some of those videos that we're talking about. Definitely the one about hope, or called hope, I should say. And we'll see you next time on Balcony TV Sydney. Thank you. Balcony <laughs> TV. Thank you.